Someone recently mentioned that if you're taking a divot, you are hitting down on the golf ball. And while this is technically true in terms of what the club head is doing, the reason for this is the low point position. So if you imagine the swing as a circle, the club has a period where it's traveling down, that's in red. Then we have the low point, which is in white here. That's the lowest point of the swing circle. And then after that point in blue, the club is traveling on the upward part of the arc. And so when we have a golf ball with a good, well-struck iron shot, the club is on the downward part of the arc, or it's traveling on the downward part of the arc. The ball is struck as the club is coming down, usually about four to six degrees on the downswing. Then a divot is taken, and then the low point is reached, and then the club actually works on the upswing. So yes, during that point at impact, where the club is in impact with the ball, the club is traveling down, that's true. However, many amateurs mistakenly believe that they have to try to hit down. And so that's not true. I would actually think of having the low point more forwards, more target side, because the problem with hitting down or the thought, at least, or the intention of trying to hit down is it can cause the body to drop through impact. And now in this gears video, this is an average of a lot of professional golfers. And what we see here is an avatar on the top of, of that the mechanics of that average golfer, average tour golfer, I should say. And at, at the bottom here, we see a graph. And when those lines are moving down, so when they're moving down, as in here, that means the body is working down. In fact, there's a little color code here. The yellow line represents the pelvis, so the hips moving down. And the pink line represents the rib cage moving down. And what we see here, if I just zoom out a little bit more to our avatar, what we see is in the swing, there is a drop in height for the professional. He drops in height from about here in the backswing, and there's a more significant downward acceleration to around about here. So very early in the downswing. And then after that point, we actually see the graph work up or the lines work upwards. So this means the body motion, the pelvis and the rib cage is actually starting to work up through impact, especially, you know, it accelerates from here to here. There's quite a lot of acceleration upwards. The body's working upwards. So even though the club is working down through impact, the body is actually working up. And the mistake that many amateurs make is they tell themselves, I have to hit down, and then they end up doing what I call dive bombing the ball, where their body is actually working down. So all these graphs would be pointing downwards. And here's another video that highlights that. This is Tiger Woods 2001, so when he was the best iron player in the world, probably ever to have lived. And I like this image because it's kind of blurry. And what we can see is if you look at the path that the glove takes, I'm just going to draw a line on the top of the glove here. So we see there's a downward motion just pre-impact and then post-impact or through impact, there's actually more of an upward motion of the hands. So the hands are working kind of very significantly up. In fact, let me just change that to white. So this is the through and post-impact in white. Yellow is pre-impact. So yes, we have the club head traveling downwards through impact. That is because the low point is in front of the ball, not because the body or the hands are working down. In fact, the club can be working down while the hands and body work up through the shot. And if you want to learn more about these concepts, I go into them in real detail in the strike plan. That's available on adamyounggolf.com. We talk about how to strike the ground effectively, ball then turf with irons, how to strike the driver effectively, how to get rid of shanks and toe shots. And so you're improving your launch conditions with the driver. You're going to add distance, improve distance control, hit more greens in regulation, and even hit more fairways from better strikes with the driver.